G'day everyone, it's right. Dan right. and Bill, and I've got Bill from America, and we're down here in Tasmania. We are the Down Under Adventures with Purpose. We have been spending the last three weeks on five missing persons cold case, and we have a bit of an update now, so I'll hand it over to Bill, and he can do some talking. So yesterday at 4.11 in the afternoon, we located Dale Nicholson, who's been missing for six years in his Ford... Fairmont, Fairmont, uh, which was a 1993 vehicle. Uh, it, it, it was heavily, you know, a metal metal object on the bottom. We went up around a tree coming up the river about 150 yards from his house over the bridge. Uh, we immediately locked onto a, a vehicle corner, and I was able to sonar it with the Helix 8 and get that corner in the wheel. Uh, it showed up on sonar pretty well. We went over about six or seven more times yeah. and we're able to lock onto it, lock the magnet on on first try and uh, we're able to bring Dale Nicholson home You know, a few hours later with the police. Uh, it took about five hours for recovery. They did an amazing job. Here. Yeah, it's very professional. We had all the right equipment. They listened to our advice. Um, I spent a month over in the US for training with uh, Adventures with Purpose and this is now such a big organization it's part of the world now so uh, we are taking what i learned and applying it here in australia bill's come to australia to give us a hand and this is where we're at well i'm just honored to be here and help and, and to bring families you know some closure and, and for them to be able to, to turn the page in their life yeah. and uh and close a chapter and and give them the you know it, it was one of the things that the 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 girls said the, the four sisters they said we're just relieved to know that he was home the whole time yeah and that we were able to we we're able to, to put him to rest and lay him to rest they and, were saying just the day before they were driving down the road and saying oh where is he where is he and the the the, the relief in their eyes and their arms as they hugged us um was just overwhelming that they now knew where their beloved brother was so we found him in uh, new norfolk uh, Tasmania, uh, as I said, 150 yards from his home. Uh, he, you know, had his fishing rods with him. Um, he's still in his slippers. You know, I mean, it's uh, it, it, the closure for the family, you know, is overwhelming. I mean, for us as as Adventures with Purpose, I mean, we, we learn what we, we know from Jared and from the team and from Nick and the guys. And then and, and, and we brought we brought it down here to, to Australia to, to really put it to use. We're looking for five people. We're now down to four that we need to find. Um, and, you know, we've probably put about 4,000 kilometers on the car yep. and uh, trying to find these people and, and at least to bring some answers, uh, you know, where they're not, um, as well as where we should be looking next uh, and try to clear some areas for families so that they know that their uh, loved ones um, have not been forgotten. I've been working Bill really hard and uh, I'm used to roughing it, what I call roughing it, he calls slumming it, <laughs> but you know, we're sleeping in tents on the side of the road and last night after we finished at midnight, we just went to a car park and slept in the car park. So, you know, we're, we're giving it our all. This brave, brave American has come to Australia. He can live like an animal. I can't do that. I can but live yeah, like an animal. Yeah. So we're, you know, we've enjoyed each other. We've been together for 24 days and we have a really good team and we work together really well. And, and that's what it takes. I mean, Dan put me over the top of the object. We rotated multiple times. We yeah. found a way to get over the object to be able to, to, to identify and, and to, to locate Dale's vehicle and, and bring him home to his family. And that's what it's all about. Missing for six years, six years. So, yeah, and, and I just want to jump on here with uh, the two of you as well. You know, first of all, I've met both of you. I mean, Dan, we've known each other for a couple of years now uh, via the yeah. internet, and it was great having you come up and join us on an entire, you know, cross-country road trip recently to where you were part of, uh, you know, I think it was your first recovery was with uh, Donnie Mezier. Is that correct? Yeah, that's correct. Yes. So I, and, I uh, learned a lot from that one incident. And we did so much diving, um, and there's a lot of footage of us clearing vehicles and looking how the, the circle of someone's life really helps us to pin in exactly where these missing persons are. So it allows us to be more efficient so we can help more people. So we are now um, 
heading further south and continuing on with the search for Nicola Solis, who is in here in Tasmania as well. Then we're heading back up to Tea Gardens and looking for another fella called Alan. So, you know, we've still got a lot of work ahead of us, but we just, and we'll put videos out with um, through AWP, but this is just a quick update to let every, all your viewers uh, and those who want to support us know what we've achieved and we've gone long. We've gone long. <laughs> we, we're, we're actually, we went one through five. We followed our, our the path from, from the first person that's up in Sydney to the second person in Tea Gardens, the third person in, in Melbourne, Hillsville, fourth person and fifth person in Tasmania. Now we're working our way backwards. So we're going back to number four, back to number three, back to number two, back to number one, in order to actually use what we learned on this whole process and work our way home um, and see if we yeah. can find them on the way back because we, we have a different perspective on it. Now that we've had 24 days to think about it, to look at the mapping, and, uh, and get used to, Bill, used to the terrain. This is a lot different to the U.S., is that fair to say? It's very rugged, uh, and the waters are very dark. So you, you think something is 10 meters deep, it's, it's, it's not even a meter. It's just so dark. So to every single river you've got to look at, every pond you've got to look at deeply because you don't know what the depth is. And you've had floods. We've had floods, and you can see trees up in like 25 feet. Above feet. the river, I've, I've got trees and tree debris up above these these rivers. It's it's pretty pretty amazing how high the waters get here. So, you know, but Dale never moved. No. He, he's been there the whole time, and he's in a tidal um, river. He is protected by that big tree, though. Yep. So the tide isn't affecting wasn't affecting his vehicle, and it was protected with a spot. So it was the the perfect scenario for us one of the things that we keep learning is that when a car goes in it pretty much stays where it is you know and we've learned that from jared we've learned that from the team of adventures with purpose and so we're putting that 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 knowledge that, that knowledge and that thought process together when doing what we're doing and we're looking at those little nooks where there's a little drop off of 2.7 meters which is you know approximately eight feet we're looking in those little holes on the edge of riverbanks to find these these vehicles so we can you know bring these people home adventures of purpose is now a group of people throughout the world who just want to make a difference want to make the world better and you know we experienced that firsthand yesterday hugging the family and spending time with them off camera and it was it was a great experience and has given me a new kind of lease to continue because it's been a little bit oh we, we've we traveled four thousand kilometers and we haven't got any <laughs> no don't let him kid you he he kept pushing and kept pushing he did not want to quit and that's what it takes when you're trying to find these people you can't quit you got to keep no. moving forward and and when you least expect it something comes on that sonar that that you know gives you hope that you can bring the, these people home to their families and you know yeah, you've yeah. got so many good people out there supporting the channel and we appreciate that you know, you know, and I know exactly what you're talking about as far as, you know, pushing, you know, here we are, we've got 4,000 miles in on this trip just alone so far as well. You know, we're up here uh, in working the southern states right now and, you know, Bill's going to be joining us soon up here in uh, in the U.S. again because he's from the U.S. And Dan, it sounds like you might uh, be joining us again in, in uh, September, October for another trip. So, fingers That's crossed. Yes. Yeah. In the meantime, you know, one of the things I want to bring to, you know, everybody's attention as well, you know, you had mentioned that you're going to be putting, you know, your videos out over here on AWP, you know, and that was really a twisting of the arm on your part. So I'm like, no, I mean, like, Dan, you're doing your own thing down there. And you're like, no, I am a part of the AWP movement. This is the, you know, the down under, you know, uh, portion of AWP. I, I have stood by this purpose. I believe in this purpose. Um, I want our work to be seen by a wider audience. Uh, it's not about me. It's not about Bill. It's, respectfully, it's not even about you. It's about this group of people who want to go out, make our world better, and help others. That's what we're... We're not trying to be famous and all that kind of stuff. We are out here just trying to make a difference in using the skills that we have. Bill has a great mind, and we're using his mind. I can dive all right. So it, it all... Everyone is balancing out really well. Can't hold his breath, though, 
oh, uh, nice. at all without the breather system, without the, the BCB. So we're going to have to work on that with him. Plus, we've got to get rid of the squeaks. No, got to get rid of the squeaks. Don't tell him about it. <laughs> <laughs> well, he, he, you know, I, I, and here's the thing, uh, Dan, I don't know how much you know, uh, you know, Dan, that Bill's been sharing with you, but, you know, one of the things that we're working on behind the scenes for you to help you out, you know, first of all, I know that you're working with uh, equipment that. I mean, you're making it work. What you have, you're making it work. And we want to help you, you know, get better equipment. So a couple of things that we're going to be uh, doing for you. First of all, is, you know, anything from this live stream is 100% going to you and your efforts for new gear. So that way you can, uh, you know, put that back into your, your organization. You know, we up here, we've, we've been kind of pretty much gotten to the point. And thanks to all you, the viewers have put us in a position to where we now have except for maybe one more bike, you know, compressor for our other trailer, we now have pretty much all the equipment we need. So we want to start building your team down under as well. Because like you said, right now you have five cases you're working, you still have four, and there's more down there that these are just the five that you're working right now. Um, so that's yeah. the first thing that I we really want to do for you. The second, the second. My equipment is a bit old. Um, I've got a boat that I've had since I was 16. It's got more holes than a sieve in it. You know, we're, we're pumping the water out as quick as it's coming in. So there, there is certainly uh, a need there so we can actually serve families here in Australia. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Um, the next thing I have for you is uh, I do have an extra sonar that, that was sent to me by uh, one of the viewers. I'm sonared out on my boats now. We were going to uh, use it for a second purpose. But, I mean, you've been with us. You know the benefit of having at least two screens on your boat. So uh, that's the first thing we're going to do is we're – we're going to get that uh, piece of equipment down to you uh, within the next uh, week or two as soon as uh, I get back to uh, Oregon as well. Thank you. Um, yeah, you're welcome. And then uh, circling back even for, even more, you know, you were talking about, you know, wanting to get these videos. So we've actually been talking, Bill and I, um, you know, with the team over here, and we have our editor that's going to be putting the – your. it's really going to be a different style is what we're envisioning. We want to take your footage. We want to turn it into, you know, your documentary of, you know, two guys taking this mission in Australia, sharing the beautiful sights of, you know, your kangaroos and your goats and everything else that you've been uh, experiencing down there on your journey, looking for these five guys. And with yeah. that, you know, you're forcing, I, I'm, I'm just saying it right now, and you can back me up on this one for the viewers, but, you know, you're poor forcing that footage on me. So I want to honor you, your legacy, your efforts, and with, any of the proceeds that comes in on those videos, we're going to make sure that you receive 100% of that as well as any additional fundraising we can do. We're going to push and everything we can in the next few months to make sure that everybody knows who Dan is, you know, down under Dan, and make sure that you end up with all the equipment that you need down there for your team and to push this. And so we want to do, like I said, I appreciate you being a part of this. So right, right now you got $20 that just we, came we, in. We, so. we, want to see, we want to see, you know, him have success. He, he puts his heart and soul into trying to find these people. I mean, I've watched him for 24 days try to do everything by himself, you know, and it, it's amazing to watch the, the effort, the energy, um, the sheer love of what he's doing. And, and I, you know, anything that, you, that the viewers can do to help Dan to, to be more prepared, to be, go out there and find not only the people that are missing that we know of, but others that he doesn't know of yet that are out there. There, there are more, it, it, we only know of five, um, uh, but there are more people that are missing with their vehicles, and, and I know Dan can help. Yeah, look, I only found out about Nicola Slice because of one of my videos. Um, the the family contacted me. From that, we then found out about Dale. So it kind of snowballs, and that's why we are now Adventures with Purpose, so we can reach as many people as possible to bring awareness to the need out there. So if you're in a boat and you're coming to a boat ramp, put your sonar in, check around your bodies of water. You know, we need as many eyes on the water as possible to say, hey, look, I reckon I've got this great fishing spot. It's in the middle of nowhere and the fish just hang around. Why are they hanging around? Because there's a car in there. Think about as boaters and water users, what could be underneath the water? And so we can then help the, uh, these families. Yeah, there's, there's a lot of things that the viewers can do. And I think that the, the, one of the big things is just making sure you're self, you know, you, you have some awareness of what is at your boat ramps, um, what's in your dams. I hear a, uh, a waterway that is on a personal property is called a dam. It, it is used for taking care of the crops as well as the animals. 
but some of them are 15 to 16 feet deep. Um, and every single property has at least one. It, and they're near the road, and we, we just physically can't get to them all. It's just literally impossible for us. So we're looking for uh, Tez Chitness, 21-year-old, uh, out of Healesville. Uh, he went missing with his Volkswagen Golf GTI. Uh, we believe that he's actually up in the mountains. Uh, we've tracked the, the timing of the pings of his phone uh, to the mountains, to Marysville, and down to Warburton, where I have no service, Dan had no service, and that's exactly what happened to Tej when he went missing, is he had no service on his phone from 11.50 to, to, to now. And we pulled over on the side of the road, and down the embankment was a car, and you'll see that all in the videos that we present. So we, we, we've been doing a lot of investigation, and, and we're putting things together. I think you're going to be really impressed with the, vi the videos, not only watching him work, I mean, because I, I tried to do minimal, let him do as much as I That's could. That's true. He does try to do minimal. <laughs> so, but Absolutely but I, I really wanted to yeah, the viewers to see how hard Dan works to try to find people. It, it's, it is impressive. Yeah, I'm definitely, like I said, I'm definitely looking forward to uh, seeing that footage and uh, putting it together. And like I said, you know, we really want to put that together as far as, you know, your journey and, um, you know, your legacy to help others. And, you know, I was talking to somebody earlier today about, you know, you, you put out a video publicly and I, I just want to barely touch on it, um, if that's OK with you. You know, and part of that is, is, you know, Dan is not going to be with us forever, you know, and Dan can share this a little bit more of this if you'd like. Um, but, you know, he, he, he knows that his ticker has a camp. All right. Now. Not all of us in life have that. And Dan is choosing to spend his life, his, you know, his bucket list is to go out and to help as many families as he can right now. And, you know, for all of us coming together and you coming together and helping Dan, you know, with that. And for us to document this for him also. Like, I think it's just, I, I don't know how to, I don't know the best way to say it. I think it's a beautiful thing that, you know, having that love for others. And that's what I want to be remembered for. Oh, we love so, you. And so and we want to see you keep moving forward. So, And if I lay off the, the, the sweets and the sugar, Bill thinks I'll live forever. So I, I would like to see one vegetable go down. Hey, one, one vegetable. Fair. <laughs> oh yeah, no, that's fair. Yeah. Uh, he he had a vegetable go down with him when he was with me. There was a tomato on the or tomato ketchup was on the hamburger, so he had some ha some uh, vegetables. Oh, let, go down. lettuce and a carrot with the with the chicken sandwich today because I fed it to him. Now we have yeah. shared. There's been lots of banter with us. It's 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 a bit of an Australian spirit, but it, you know we get on really well. We're forming up a great team here, and. Um, I've introduced him to meat pies, so you can have them for breakfast, lunch, and tea. No you can problems. take your meat pies. I'm yeah. out. I'm out. I'm out. And I want air conditioning. And he doesn't want a Vegemite sandwich. I've tried to feed him a Vegemite sandwich. Oh. No, no deal. And I've listened to Men at Work over and over and over again in Midnight Oil. I, I, I'm i good, too. I'm good. All good stuff, though. Yeah. I, I, you know, but, amazing but, experience the last 23 days. You Absolutely saw him amazing. Kidna, you've seen wallabies. Yeah. You've seen wombats. You've seen lots. Yeah, we've we've seen amazing Platypus. places. We've yeah. seen amazing places. I mean, mm. when you see the videos, you're gonna see amazing places. Like, just the scenery alone on this trip in the last 24 days. I mean, Dan is a driving just just an animal, just driving everywhere to try to find these people. And every single time, I'm like, stop, stop! I gotta get a picture. I gotta get some video. So it's it's pretty amazing to watch, and and uh, and, and and it's been fun to to spend some time with this man, and and to, and to watch him really put every bit of effort he could, uh, a person could put in to try to find people. So I'm pretty sure Bill is the loudest person I've ever met though. Like I'm normally quite mellow, but ooh, ooh. no, I, I get a little excited. It's yeah, about it's energy, good. right? It Jared, is. it's about energy. You yeah. gotta, you gotta keep things moving forward and, and it's, woo! Oh, the <laughs> you know, and it doesn't, and it doesn't matter what life sends your way. I mean, you got to be strong. You got to put on, on a happy face. And, uh, you know, at the end of the day, you know, we appreciate those that support us and those that don't, uh, you know, it just rolls off and we move forward. We move on with our lives. And so, you know, I think that, you know, part of, again, coming back to the speaking with, you know, uh, you know, as I was talking about you earlier today with your, you know, the legacy, you know, it's not just a, you know, what you're doing right here, right now, but also passing on this information, this knowledge, you know. So in the same fashion that we've done so with you, do you currently have plans of 
can people reach out to you? You know, I, I put your link to your YouTube channel in the description, both on Facebook and YouTube. Yeah. But, you know, do you, do you want people reaching out to you right now? Are you kind of where are you at in this process of you're ready to bring on and grow the team down there with you? Um, that's an excellent question. I've got people like Mike Oliver who come and help me. I've got uh, my mate Dan Nixon. Mish. Um, yeah, Mish from um, Victoria as well. There are lots of people who always put their hand up and want to help. And it's certainly not something I can do. Could I use a camera guy? Yeah, I could. Could I use a drone guy? Yeah, I could. He's pretty good though. So, you know, but yeah, it, I'm ready to walk away from editing because I've been doing videoing, editing, everything, and it's too much for me. I can't do it. It's just, it's either I walk away from the whole lot or I start sucking in my pride a little bit and letting others do stuff for me. He just he needs some help to make it so that it's a little bit easier. I mean, from just the vote situation of getting votes on and off the truck, you know, it's dang, it's dangerous. It's not it's not light. None of, none of what he's doing is easy. Um, but the fact is, is that he's been he's been doing it. I mean, he's moved this boat probably 340, 350 times while I've been here. So it, it's uh, it's no sort of feat for what he's been able to accomplish. Anyway, and, enough of that. Yeah, but I, I'm just impressed. I'm impressed with him. So. I, you know, the biggest thing is the editing piece of it in getting AWP involved gives the platform for Dan to, to show what he's doing. And the legacy piece of it is very important because, you know, I, I, I think he's going to live forever. But the fact is, is that, you know, this man, you know, has been struggling with, with some stuff. And I want to make sure that we video him right and and show all the efforts that he puts into helping people. Um, that's well, we're here, yeah, we're, we're here to support you any way we can, you know. So, yeah, if you're building your own team down there, you get put everything on your channel, great. If we can do anything to help you out, put it on ours and, you know, put those funds back towards you so that way you can build your team and your crew and your gear. We'll do everything we can Look to help you out. Look forward to coming over and helping you again. That was a great month. I've, you've said a million times, it's about balance too. I've got to look after my family and make sure Robin's looked after and – but also I want to serve the community in whatever way I can, whether as a police officer or as a civilian. I'm, I'm about trying to help others. We well, appreciate it. Well, on that note, uh, you know, if anybody has any direct questions for them, I can pop those questions up on screen. If not, then uh, I know that you guys have some more uh, daylight and hours to knock out as well. Yeah, so. we're heading down south. We'll be on the road within 15 minutes. Yeah, we're going to try to get in and see if we can uh, go to the last location that Nicola Solis was. Um, he, he is a 66-year-old man that has been missing for 14 years. With early onset dementia. Um, he actually went missing on the eighth year anniversary of his uh, wife's passing. Um, we have checked most of the northern part of the state. I've checked in the south. We're going to go back down the south and work that area again. Um, Bill's here, new eyes, two sets of eyes. It makes a big difference. I can only do so much by myself. Yeah, well, perfect. And yeah, so, a reminder again. Are... Yeah, and so a reminder again in the uh, description down below is the link to Dan's YouTube channel. And from there, they can get a hold of you over on your about page. Do you have a how? Yeah, go to the email. About page, email. Yeah. Okay. All right. Well, perfect. Guys, incredible job. Um, we were saying just a few days ago, you know, whoever found, you know, was able to help find and help the next family of their uh, lost loved one would be the uh, best man standing. And you won the title on this one. So, but it's not going to stop us and our team from uh, continuing our Eric, search tomorrow. I wouldn't be here if it wasn't for you. And neither would I. We wouldn't I have met. I probably no. would just still be diving on uh, bottles. You know, we believe in you. Absolutely. And we believe in your purpose and what you've been up to. We believe in adventures with purpose. And that's why we're here today to, to, you know, and we're able to bring home another person, you know, to their family. And we believe that you're a man who has directed his life in a way to serve others. He's putting himself aside. And that's what we believe, 100%. Sounds good. I appreciate that. And, um, I don't see any questions uh, popping up for you guys at the moment. Just a lot of congratulations and a uh, good job and you guys have uh, done great. So. All right. Well, God bless. Uh, every day is a gift and we'll see you on the next one. Sounds good. We'll see you later. Thank you. Thanks everybody see for being you. here. Cheers. Bye. All right. Bye.